Hello friends, welcome to another unboxing. Today I'm checking out the X-Rex large digital wall clock. A lot of cool features on here. Um, obviously has a large uh, face for displaying the time, date, uh, day, temperature, Fahrenheit, Celsius, uh, timers, battery backup, 24, 12, 24 hour um, mode, snooze, alarm, uh, calendar, and Wi-Fi auto sync for your timing. So a bunch of cool stuff on here, guys. Uh, these come in different colors uh, as far as the illumination. So these are black. The clock is black and then the letters light up as ice blue, white and green, white and blue, white, red, and blue. So this one is blue. Pretty stoked about that. It's a cool color. My second favorite color uh, first is green. So enough of that. Let's get on with the unboxings. Here we have it. So this is nicely packaged. Have this styrofoam to keep it. And did I mention it comes with a remote as well? So first thing, let's dig into the remote. So instead of having to reach across the room or wherever to set your clock, it has this sweet little remote here with all the goodies on there. And you can set the brightness, uh, the timer, hour, everything you can do with this little remote right there. Okay, this also plugs into the wall. So this one has a pretty long cord. I think it's about, well, I always like to show the length of the cord, guys. Um, that's one of the things I'm kind of particular about. When I buy a product, I like to know if it's long enough to actually fit to where I want it to go. So here we go. That's at least probably a seven foot cord. I have about a six foot wingspan, a little bit more. So six and a half, maybe seven foot cord. So pretty long cord there, that's good. All right, that is it for the box right there. Now we have the clock itself. And it is a good sized clock. Not only is it a wall clock, but you can put it on your shelf also. Okay, so it comes with a handy little uh, mounting bracket as well. So we're gonna be mounting this, doing the whole install and everything. But this is super handy, it comes with this. They thought of everything. This is a really nice product here. There's the instructions as well. So the clock features has some batteries already here for battery backup. The cord comes up in here and tucks down nicely inside the back. So there's nothing sticking out. It features a sound speaker back here for your alarm. This uh, can set on your desk if you want it to, or that goes in just like that. And we are gonna actually hang this one on the wall. So we'll use that little template, everything like that. So. There is the display. It's a good size clock. Uh, put this across the room or wherever, and you're gonna be able to see it from anywhere. Right now we have two clocks in our bedroom and they're both on the nightstand. So it's difficult to even see them. So if you wanna even see what time it is, you gotta kinda wake up, get a look across the bed or whatever, just to see what time it is. Place this over on the wall. We'll be able to see nice. Also, it puts out some pretty good light. So it doubles as a night light as well. So. Let's go install it, my friends. All right, my friends, for this installation, we're going to need a level, if you want a level clock, a Phillips head screwdriver, um, sheetrock anchors, if you need them. Um, if you just have wood, then these will work. I really prefer these if you're looking for good sheetrock anchors. We have the instructions, our clock. Uh, what you want to do is also make, take your batteries, Make sure they got the little cover off of there and everything's working there. That just comes off just like that, easy peasy. And same thing with your batteries on this. Put those in there, make sure that those are in there. Okay, let's get started, my friends. You wanna pick a place on your wall where you want your clock and then the rest is history. Here we go. Okay, first things first, we wanna find a place on the wall. 
where this is going to go. So right about here is where we want it, I guess. And then the mounting holes are at the top, so the clock's going to come down a few inches right about here. So you get your paper on the wall where you want it, the holes, and then you take your level and you put it on top of that. So, and then you figure out, okay, I want the level needs to be level. And then you take your paper and stick it right there. All right, and that's going to make these perfectly level. You take your Phillips head screwdriver and just poke a nice little hole right there where those are. Okay. We're ready to go, my friends. Next thing we do, we take our sheetrock anchors and we should be able to just screw these right into the wall here. Unless there's wood behind there, and then it's not going to be easy to do if there's just wood behind there. If there's a stud, then we can just use a screw into the wall. And I think we might just have I think we have a stud behind there. So if you do happen to have a stud behind there, just take your screw and screw that right into the wall there. Okay. So not too big of a deal to overcome. And let's try our sheetrock anchor here. We have another stud there, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Just some really hard sheetrock. Usually these burrow right through. So we're just going to screw this in now. And then what I want to do too is make sure that your screw heads are big enough. Uh, put on the back of the clock, make sure they don't pull out. So I'm talking about, so these go in here, make sure they're big enough to, to fit in there so they don't just fall out. And we'll just screw that one in. You want to leave a little bit of gap, not all the way close to the wall there. Okay. Next thing we can do is take the back off of our thing, and plug that in there, and then run this wire. Right down there, through there. If you have extra wire, you just tuck it up in there. In here, and then we just put our top back on there. Okay. Next thing we do is hang this right on the wall. Oops. Let's see here where we at. Let's go over there nicely. There we go. And then we can take this screen off. Go ahead and plug this in. There we go. Take that off. And there is that. All right, with the temperature, we can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. 
change the uh, clock from 24 hour. Let's see. This one here. There we go. And then we can also set it up so it sets using the internet. So um, we can actually go and set that up right now using that. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, we're going to unplug it. And then on the back of the clock on the side here are the buttons. If you don't use a remote, we have the buttons over here. You want to hold down alarm set and timer at the same time. There's alarm set and timer at the bottom two buttons. Hold those down and then plug in your, uh, plug it in. Okay. Then what you want to do is go to the smartphone and we're going to look up um, our internet connection. Let's see. Settings. Wi-Fi. Okay, we're going to look for other uh, Wi-Fi and they're going to look for this one that says HQX2128. And we go there and connect to that one. Okay. Next, we're going to go to our browser and enter one. One nine two. Let's see one nine two dot one six eight dot eight eight dot one. Okay, and click go, and then it's going to bring this up. Web config and upgrade. We're going to hit web config. Okay, then it's going to ask me up at the top for my password. Okay, I'm just going to type it in. And submit, and it says success. Success. All right, so now we need to select our time zone. Okay, so underneath I had a different thing, so I'm going to. Okay. All right. So at the at the screen it says uh, where you put in your your password. It says uh, has a little um, like a number here, negative five or whatever. So that's that's a code for where your uh, what your time zone is. So I believe we're Pacific PST. So we want to go to negative eight and then submit. Okay. All right, we are all set and the remote, you can turn the Turn it to different brightnesses. You can turn the volume, the volume up or down <laughs> for the alarm. That's really cool. Timer, got the light on or off. 
Um, just a whole bunch of settings on there. Really cool clock, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just really impressed with this. It's a nice clock, big display. I got rid of my two. I can just lay down in bed now. I can see the clock easily. And it's a great little night light too. So if you turn on all the lights, you can still see. So you don't run into a wall or something when you're trying to get out of bed. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.